Hey mama, what's up? Did you switch my service from Verizon to T-Mobile? Yep. T-Mobile has the only nationwide 5G. Well, Mr. Know-It-All, let's see if you right about that. Mama. Ma hey mama, I'm working. It works at the pie shop. T-Mobile's 5G works inside and out. Hey, what you need, mama? I'm trying to watch the game with my boys. It works in the park. Oh, okay. <sighs> Mama? It works at the aquarium. In the parking garage. At the beach. It's in the elevator. It works in the movie theater, too. Oh, shush yourself. I'm talking to my baby. You're driving me crazy. I was just calling you to say thank you, baby. I love you. I love you, too, Mama. Yes, Mama. It works in the kitchen. Tell Mama. Mama? 5G, it works in the club. Who are you in the club with? Hey, what's going on? E. Jones, bottom to the top hoops. Elvis, the black one, we in the building. Yo, L, man, first of all, big shout out to everybody who helps us make this happen. Uh, Jerry Ice, D. Jones, everybody on the bottom to the top hoops and BCOM TV uh, uh, side. Who you want to shout out? I see you, bro. I was getting to that. Who you shouting out for, bro? Rep. But first things first, I got to shout out God, and then I'm going to do the political way. Shout out my mom. You know, shout out my family, my friends. Shout out all our supporters. Yes, sir. K1, Steve. Hey, buddy on the BCOM TV fam. Whole Yo, shout out to my cousin Marlon, man. A supporter. Always in the cut. Yes, sir. Always supporting, man. Big shout out to E. Cruz, man. Thanks for keep watching, bro. We appreciate you. Uh, yo, man. Um, definitely check us out. YouTube, Spotify, uh, Apple TV. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Check out the VCon TV website. L, a lot of feedback on the last show, so we're going to come back one more again. Um, people like the concept of the alumni game. I got hit up in the DM. Got some people running down me on these, in these New York streets. What was the feedback you got, man? I got real great feedback, E. No lie, man. I had a couple of people who attended Rice. I had a couple of people who attended uh, Stevenson High School, even though they might be in the ocean. I don't think they'll make the cut. Okay. Um, I had a couple of people from um, Richmond, <laughs> where they was like, yo, if we put together our all time, yo, we could compete. No, it's not about competing. It's about literally being one of those top six teams to ever play in New York City. That's the alumni. And you have to have players that are playing currently who can go out and compete so you gotta be playing now yeah what we don't want is a school like power memorial who had kareem abdul jabbar and chris mullen and they don't have nobody who's under 40 years old who's a graduate right who's relevant we want people who could hoop i'm gonna say this even if the dudes ain't relevant if you only got three relevant dudes and you got some other dudes that can hoop, like, yo, we ain't mad at that. So, yo, yeah. my pops, big shout out to my dad, my mom's, the whole family, and my brother. He's like, yo, they hit me like, yo, what about us? What about Satellite? We still hooping. We got I say, yo, man, Satellite is definitely in the building. They are on the board. They're up for consideration. So, there you have it, brother. Okay. Satellite's in the building. So, um... What do you think, now that we got this thing rolling, I guess we got to put some, some energy behind it and make it happen, bro. Absolutely. Yo, shout out to my man, Craig, Ready Rock. He definitely said he want to commentate. You know, I I mean, we, we getting it from all angles. Shout out to Greg. Greg said, yo, I put together some reps for that, man. Let me know. So it's going to come together. I see it. So here's what I think is going to be interesting. I think that as guys get older um, and they start to turn into their better versions of themselves and they've respectively gone overseas or played professionally or hooped wherever, just because Elvis Blunt was the man in high school, now I'm 
the dude who's making more money overseas or in a better country. Like, I'm not playing second fiddle to you again. So what do you that think can that, happen. What, what do you think that dynamic is going to be like as far as... I, 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 I honestly feel, E, I think it's going to be on us to make great choices when it comes to selecting the coaches. Because okay. the coaches will keep the structure. Okay. I mean, that's the only way I feel we can have actually structure. Because like you said, that, that's a great point. Players would be like, I ain't coming off the bench for him. He washed up. Yo, I, I, yo, man, there's so many different things I was thinking about. And I was saying to myself, should it be some kind of reward? Should we donate some money to charity? Like, how do we okay, get we guys, gotta... how do we get guys to compete and want to play and feel like, yo, they, I mean, bragging rights in New York City is enough. But now, if there's a pot, I saw they played a three on three for 10,000 last week. Mm. So I don't want to get it to the point where it's like we playing for 10,000 and dudes is like going for blood, but I want to make it competitive. You know what I mean? Loser got to buy lunch or, 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 or everybody put up whatever the bread is and the winner take the bread. Or we could do that. Or we could reach out to some of our sponsors and yep. then, you know, they can definitely put up some bread where we can give a cash reward. I'm, hint, hint, sponsors, hint, hint. Yeah, but I feel like once you put the cash in it, you get the competition, but you also get a different element. Do start playing <laughs> jail ball, man. Maybe, yeah. maybe, maybe like when when the, the uh, NBA they did, um, it was hooping for a donation to a charity. So I like that component. You know what I mean? Something that maybe could benefit a charity or the program, right? The program, mm. that, that, like you know what I mean? You playing for St. Ray's. You know what I mean? Yo, we City Legends donated a set of uniforms, something. Mmm. You know what that I mean? That sounds great, man. That sounds we need to really brainstorm on that. Becom TV, edit some videos. Whatever it is, bro. Like we can figure out something to make it make it rewarding. So now, mm. who is the one school L that you want to see? Lincoln. Why? Why why Lincoln? Lance still playing overseas. Whitehead still playing. Um, it's a couple of other cats too that might not be as Sebastian. Big. Sebastian, like he's still playing. Well, you know he's not far removed from being in the NBA. So that means he. So that means he gonna play in that game. You know, go get Tiny Morton to come back and coach that group. I think. What about Steph? Steph? Steph just retired two years ago. How did I not say Steph R. Marbury, the biggest player to ever come out of Lincoln? Yo, Jamel Thomas. Jamel Thomas. Yo, that's a five right there. Ethan Telfair. Oh man, Sebastian. Yo, I'm. Tr yo. Wow, Lincoln, like. I think Lincoln is gonna be real tough, man. Yo, Rice. Yeah, but 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 who's really relevant? For, well, now I can't say that because you got Kemba, you got Duran. Remember, we just had Duran at the workouts, the City Legends workout. Scucci, Emmy Andujar, mm. Edgar Sosa, mm. Curtis Kelly. Yeah, I'm bugging. J yeah, yeah. Rice got a bag and 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 and. and, and, and I spoke to my man Cash. Cash said he ready. Mm, that's major. Yeah, Cash to put some structure to have that thing rolling, man. Yes, right. Sir. Maybe yes, he's sir. trying to get to the chip. And I know <laughs> my guy Dre Barrett is front and center. Ready. Dre Barrett. Shout out to Dre Barrett. Yo, yo, Kenny Sat. Kenny Sat is here for a couple of weeks. I don't know if Dre and Sat going to play, but I know they gonna, they they want those bragging rights, and they probably want to say, I know they want to sing Rays. They go mm. crazy on St. Ray's, yo. Mm. yo I, gotta, I, I gotta reach out to the St. Ray's alumni. <laughs> it's real disrespectful out of these streets, man. Yo, 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 give me, give me, give me three players, alumni, St. Raymond's right now that you feel that can hold it down right now, because we can always add. Give me three. Frank Elegar. Mm hmm Daniel Dingle. Mm-hmm. Um, Truck Bryant. Mm. Formidable. Got you. Three guys getting to it. Got you, got you. You know what I mean? I'm a, my man Chris Brethel, we get Gavin Grant out of retirement. 
I don't know if my man B Lang's still playing. But yo, man, only take a couple of weeks for guys to get back in shape. That's it. Four weeks, you back. Yo, man, we just got to do it before the, uh, we don't got to do it before. I was about to say before the school year start. Look like we're going to be doing remote learning the way this thing is going. Yeah, it's looking like it, man. All you cities, man, stay safe. Stay safe out there. I You're heard L2, somebody, Cash was telling me somebody has an alumni league where there's like actual teams from a league in Cali or something like that that they mm. play it like a literally a round robin league. Wow. Yeah, man. So that's that's dope. Like, let's get it going in New York. Just at least the the games. Yeah. You know yeah, yeah. So, so, Yo, so, so, what, what, what you been hearing on the AAU circuit? Yo, L, man. People are just they, they doing what they doing, man. Regardless of what the COVID is doing, people is getting sick, and they still playing. They still having tournaments. They, they, they just hooping, man. I think some people are just ignoring it and acting like COVID is not here. And some people are being really precautious and taking necessary measures. But it's totally at the opposite. I mean, like, people are either on one side or the other. It doesn't seem like a bunch of people are in the middle. Got gotcha. you. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. that, that's the mm -hmm. politics and, and everything, man, that, that just shows this ugly head and nobody's caring. It, it's to the point where you don't even want to watch the news anymore. Because everybody's yeah. objective. It's no more Walter Cronkite's. Yeah. Who just give you straight up the news and let you be able to make the decision. Everybody's got an agenda and they're trying to falsify numbers and facts. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like just give the people the info. I heard that they're, 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 they're not reporting correctly on the on the death tolls. They're, it's just a lot, man. It's a lot. Well, it, well, when you see that type of stuff going on, you know that there's a bigger plan and a bigger picture that's going on behind the scenes. We've known that from the beginning now. We've known that, though. But guess what? The one thing I want to say, L, is I would like to see the game happen when they arrest the cops that killed Breonna Taylor. That's the game I want to see. Well, 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 well see, the, the funny thing about it is they're not allowing people to get back to normal. You're not going to allow that type of event, that type of thing to happen, to occur. You, you break in someone's house, you kill them, and you just expect people to just go back to normal. Enough is enough. And you know what? It's a beautiful thing now because you know what I've realized? Let me tell you what I've realized. What's that? At first, I really felt, and I'm going to be honest, I started feeling it was a black and a white thing. No, it's not. It is a people thing. Well, COVID, that's real. COVID don't have no color. That's, that's, that's first. But I know what you're saying in terms of, you know, either you got it or you don't got it, right? And, and, and let me just shout out the NBA for a second. They always get it right, and they did again. The national anthem, the players, the staff, the coaches, and the referees all kneel during the national anthem. Time to expose some people. And, oh, go ahead. and they all had on the Black Lives Matter t-shirts. Okay. Yo, so did you hear this? What's up? The OKC, their whole organization told the players that they cannot kneel. It's going against what they stand for, which means OKC stands for br police brutality. They stand for that because they wouldn't tell their players, no, you're going against what we stand for. You're going against the flag. No. The NFL said that at first. Now they woke up and seen how big of an issue it truly is. And at this climax, you mean to tell me OKC is that racist? That even if you feel that way, it's one thing. I'm not going to step out there and put it out there in this climate and say, oh, no, if my players kneel, they're gonna, we're going to take away the tax break that we give to the players for being in the organization. So you know what that says? F-O-K-C as an organization. With the middle finger? With the middle finger. Two of them. 
Yo, I ain't mad at you. Here's what I'm going to say about OKC. I was told to think twice and speak once. If you don't have anything good to say, don't say it nothing at all. So what happens is you have that type of a thought. It's going to get exposed one way or another at the end of the day. And I believe that the players and their voice and how they stand up against it will be more of an example against what they're saying as opposed to the negativity they're putting out. So for OKC, shame on you, man, for, for, for even putting something like that out. And I know the NBA, well, in the history of what I know, the NBA has always gotten it right. So I'm going to lean on, on that and have confidence because I thought during the whole movement, the NBA has been really supportive of the players. Uh, they have been. Let's give them their – no, let's give the NBA their credit. NBA, there. but that's not every team. Even the, the players go. and some of the owners have paid staff, and they've done some really cool things, man. But if you're not doing the right thing, man, at the end of the day, right is right and wrong is wrong. That's a fact. So, Al, we still got some work to do, man. Yo, uh, let me just say this, too, to expose OK, OKC. Yo, how do you let go Harden, Westbrook, Durant? Get out of here. That was a money issue. That that's was money. Let, that, but that, that's my point. It's problems in OKC. Next. <laughs> Yo, we gave him a mouthful, baby. It's E. Jones. It's your boy, Black Elvis. A.K.A. Huey Newton. <laughs> yo, yo, man, we signing out City Legends, bottom to the top hoops. Who you want to shout out, my brother? Shout out God, man. Yo. Everybody out here, stay safe, man. The yes, corona's sir. real. Nice, Scott, wash your hands. Do the right thing. <laughs>